things you'll find in your package for the take home kit is this sand art. You're going to use the sand as paint and then the background is a hard board to accept all of the um, paint, sand paint. So I've taken mine out of the package and I have opened up carefully my sand because that's going to be your paint. Now on the corner here, I'm peeling back. Be careful just to peel off the top part. You see how that comes off? It's a little tricky with this light for you to see that. But once you get started, you'll see how it works. So I'm only peeling off that yellow top part. And below it, you will find it to be sticky. And that's the glue. Great. So the part you can see now, this is the sticky part. So I'm going to take my blue sand and do the background. So here I'm just going to, I have it opened on the side with a pair of scissors. So I'm going to be able to paint with that and have some control over it. I do have a piece of paper underneath of my work so that I can gather up any blue sand that I might need to reposition and put on. I know that's a little hard for you to see. I'm going to hold it this way. So you can see it better. See how the sand is sticking to the tape on the background. So I'm gonna sprinkle that all over. Can you see how the background is now all colored with ocean? All right, I'm gonna lay it flat for just a second while I'm doing that. And there's my background for the shark. I can use the paper and gather up that um, extra sand and put on. And then we're just going to proceed. So now I'm going to go ahead and do, I think I'm going to do the shark in purple. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed and do that. And I'm going to be more directive of my sand this time because I want to get details in and you're just using it like a paintbrush and pouring it over the shark area. I have a purple shark. All right, now I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm gonna push it around a little so that it's sticking only in the shark area. Not only am I going to do the starfish in pink, I thought it might be fun to do the bubbles and maybe his gills in pink. Now with these little details, I had problems getting off the upper layer. So I just found a little tool that I could use to get them off with. You could use, the, um, I'm using a bulletin board staple remover. Maybe the point of a knife or something that's safe for you to use. So I'm just going to sprinkle specifically in those areas so that I keep the detail only in those pink areas. From the bubbles because you know what the blue didn't cover the glue all the way and i'm afraid it's going to pick it up into the ocean and i just want the ocean to be blue so now that i have the gills and the bubbles i'm going to turn it right i'm going to just turn it right over so it falls straight on that piece of paper i have protecting my table here we go and then the detail end on the ocean but look i peeled up the corner a little bit if that happens to you, just get out some glue and tack that down underneath of it. And then that will hold that secure. So again, I'm on my last part. So I'm gonna just put this white sand at the bottom of the ocean. You can use whatever colors you want. You don't have to use the colors I use. And then knock off the extra. It, just gather up your ocean bookmark. There's a ribbon. You can slide that through the hole and you can tie that however you want to decorate your bookmark. Again, this is your way to be creative. So you can do whatever you would like. I got my little stamper out. Everybody's stamper may be a little bit different. I actually have a turtle stamper. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that on my, the back of my bookmark. But again, you can put it on the front of your bookmark. 
There he is, a little turtle head. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw the rest of the turtle here. I found this fun book, Turtle in Paradise. It's written by Jennifer Holm. And when I'm reading it, I can use my bookmark. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my pencil and I'm gonna draw the back of his shell. And maybe I'll make a flipper up here like he's swimming through the ocean. And a flipper down here. And the rest of his flipper there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add some details from the shell. You can draw whatever you would like on your bookmark. You can add your name. You could just stamp all over it with different turtles. Go ahead and be creative with your stamper. You could stamp your hand. Just stamp stuff that your parents won't be upset that you have stamped. So there you are. I've drawn my little turtle and then I can use it for a bookmark. So again, Jennifer Holm is a great author. She's written Turtle in Paradise, The 14th Goldfish. This is a book on CD. So maybe you find it to be a little challenging to read her books. You can go ahead and pick up the print copy and the book on CD and then listen to it while you're reading the book. So enjoy your stamper. Don't forget to put your lid on it when you're not using it so it doesn't dry out. And have fun stamping your ocean bookmark.